All right, the first thing that we need to do is rip the DVD. DVDs have a type of copy protection on them that prevents us from simply copying the files onto our hard drive. So in order to get the video onto our computer, we need to go through a process called ripping the DVD. For this, we are going to use a program called DVD Decryptor, which is included in the AMV app, which I'm going to assume that you have installed. To start DVD Decryptor, you just need to go to the Start menu, Programs, and find DVD Decryptor. And you want to insert your DVD disk into your DVD-ROM drive. And in this drop-down box here, you want to make sure that the correct drive is selected. Next, we need to switch to the IFO ripping mode by going to Mode and choosing IFO. Now, DVDs are split up into what are called Video Title Sets, or VTS, and Program Chains, or PGC. Now, all you really need to know is that the program chains are contained inside the video title sets, and the program chains contain the video data that we want. DVD Decryptor will automatically try to select what it thinks is the main program chain by default, and it's usually right. Here we can see that it selected one that's 1 hour, 26 minutes, and 21 seconds long, and I'm pretty sure that's the movie. Let's take a look at some of the other program chains, though. Here's one that's 40 minutes long, and I happen to know that this is one of the bonus features on the DVD. We have some shorter ones here, about a minute long, about half a minute long. These are probably things like trailers or advertisements or something. I don't really care. We've got the main program chain selected here, and that's what we want. Now, down here we can see that, that it lists all of the chapters in this program chain. Now, if we happen to know that we only need a particular chapter or... If we don't need a certain chapter of the DVD, we can select or deselect the chapters as necessary. But I'm going to keep all of the chapters selected so I can rip the whole movie. Now I want to go over to the Stream Processing tab and check Enable Stream Processing. Since we're making an AMV, we only need to keep the video. This means I can disable the audio and subtitle streams here and only keep the video stream. Now you don't need to do this, but it will just save you a little bit of disk space. Now I'm going to go down here, click on this folder icon, and then select where I want to save the files to. I want to save them to, let's say, let's put them in drive E. I want to make a new folder. Let's see. Uh, Alright, now it shows where I want to save it to. And I just press this button here and wait a little bit while it rips the DVD.